Yo, bruh. I just had the most vivid dream. I was eating two over easy eggs, six pieces of bacon, and three hash browns. And it was amazing and delicious. And it filled me to the brim. And now I don't have to worry about that today because I just get to have a one of you. I get to drink a juice or two of you. It's all good. I ate. I ate in my dreams. Don't worry about me. That's the alternate reality. That's the fifth dimension. That's the, where the real food is. It's like Peter Pan, like Hook. That's the real meal. But you all know what time it is. It's time to weigh in. So, here we go. Yay, yay. <laughs> oh my god, my bad, it's made! <laughs> Bitch. You're trying to get ready to go and they're just not having it hey yeah you're giving me it don't give me it all right y'all all right y'all i gotta keep it all the way a stack with you today i'm about to go out onto the lake take my old lady to the lake and by old lady i mean my mother who's 65 also that dog right there that you saw that was giving me the attitude okay uh, that means that I'm going to push my juice to later now. Here's the truth of it all. I've been doing one juice per day. I haven't been hitting the second juice because I've been substituting second juice with a snake water, essentially snake juice water. For some reason, I just don't feel the crave to have two of the juices a day. One is fine. So I'm going to have my snake water now. We're going to make a quick one, obviously. We pour it into our frame here. And, uh... That's because it's gotta be nice and icy in there. And then when I get back from the beach, then I'm gonna catch my lemon, ginger, cucumber, celery juice for the day. And I'm gonna go for some soccer and some walks at the place that I brought you before because I gotta get that in. And I'm loving these evening vibes. Last night I was actually like hankering when I took the dog, I was hankering to actually get on the soccer field and kick some 7.30, 8 o'clock balls. Nothing like some 7.30, 8 o'clock ball in your life. You know what I mean? So um, that's what I'm going to do later. Just going to make my quick snake here. Maybe pour a teaspoon. Who knows? We don't really know how much. We do know how much, but we just guess. A little extra, a little less. Not going to kill you. Once again, magnesium that will dissolve. Uh, fasting, it doesn't kill you. Maybe we'll have a whole topic about that. I just, I need to open the eyes of some people, okay? Like everything you've been told in life with diet, and not eating or fasting or overeating and diet and weight loss things. It's, it's all a lie, okay? You've been lied to. On two positive notes, we're back to 218. So we're back where we started. Now it's really time to fucking crush. This is day three of juice fast. I am about, I don't know, I'm like 50 hours into this juice fast. I'll say this, at the, this 218 feels different than the other 218. I feel like I look slimmer, I feel slimmer in the mirror. And I look at myself and shit. And also, I bought this t-shirt earlier in the year. And I remember being worried it wasn't going to fit or it wouldn't fit. And now it seems like it looks pretty good. So we're good. We're back in a nice XL. Okay. I was breaching on double XL there for a little while. But we're in XLs. It's all good. We've made our snake. And it's time to go to the lake. Another night out on the trail, some poking through. All right, so I got back from the beach with my mom a little while ago. There was a ton of people. I didn't want to be that guy snapping shots of people that are in their keenies, you know what I'm saying? So, so it was a little overcrowded. I didn't want to get any footage there. And then I came home, I went to go make my juice and my juicer after four uses is broken. Won't turn on, no power. So never buy the jack lalane juicer because now it's trash but anyway my favorite time of night about eight o'clock i'm heading to the soccer field i'm gonna do two loops and then i'm gonna go kick around the ball and do that and get my exercise for the day bring y'all with me and then we got to have another conversation of course only way to get fit is to put in that leg work you know what i'm saying gotta do it for yourself because ain't nobody else gonna do it for you 
A lot of people use like crazy music and shit to like, you know, work out or whatever. My, no my new whole thing is like for doing chores at home and like walking like this, ASMR. <laughs> at this time of night, sun like this, summer night, beautiful. Little ASMR keeps me so relaxed, so zened out, and I just walk. And it's so chill. It, feel it feels so relaxing and so good on the brain. Is there anybody else out there who walks or does chores to ASMR? Because for me, it's everything. Somebody telling a little story or describing things in like a chill ass tone. It's not too distracting for my mind. It doesn't make me think too much. It just zens me right the fuck out. Anyways, onto the loop. Here's about halfway so you guys can get an understanding of where I came from. Basically came from that building, that big one. And then it kind of loops all the way around there do, 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 do. and then there's many fields baseball diamond soccer fields tennis court and then she loops all the way da, 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 around back to the mountain or like in front of where that mountain is but past those trees kind of in a sense back to the very beginning where we first started loop two stay true not seeing all right second loop complete time to get a net and some higher intensity sweat Well, I think that's all she wrote for tonight. Got a good sweat at the end here, it's real. My punishment is to chase when I miss. I'm allowed to walk back though. <laughs> My cardio is not quite there yet at all. But man, feels good, it's beautiful. I, I kinda wanna wait and see the sunset to be honest. Maybe I'll set that up for you guys. It's beauty. <sighs> From dusk till down. It's gonna drop quick. All right, y'all, we got to have a little Chattahoochee. Way down yonder on a Chattahoochee. Way down yonder on a Friday night. In the pale moonlight. Alan Jackson? I think so. Okay, so here we are in my backyard. It is smoking hot out, but I got myself some patio furniture and an umbrella now and stuff. It's still humid as shit. 
but uh, it's a much more relaxed scenario. I get to like lay my feet out and be in a more chilled out manner and uh, just sip on a nice water. Shout out Coldest, best sponsor in the world. If, if y'all would like to grab a bottle and save 10% on your order for this summer and furthermore, it is amazing. You can use it every day. Also, massive shout out to those who continually buying with them. It's amazing. I get kickbacks and it keeps the company happy. It keeps me very happy. So thank you, love you, whoever you are, and I hope you really enjoy your bottle. Now it's time for the deepest of real talks. Now I keep saying this like, oh, it's this is the deepest, this is the deepest, but this one really really is the deepest and um it's like the core of the issue and this is like the last and final one that i have to say because it gets right to the bottom of everything and then from here i can finally move forward and move into progression and redemption and things like this so it all makes sense uh in about i don't know 15 to 20 minutes here but i hope you stick with me now this one is very difficult to talk about in a sense because there's so many angles to it and it's going to start off feeling like i don't know if it's going to start off feeling victim or complaining but i don't want to be that way because that's not where it's going to end up um, but this is a deep ultimate truth of mine and it's also i think it's going to resonate with almost everybody who would watch this because i think it's just a human condition type thing um, i'm certainly not the only one that's going through this in the world i think it's like a lot of the world and you know some of you might really resonate some of you might mildly resonate and some of you might have actually mm, been lucky enough to like break through to the point where you've like beat the thing that i'm about to talk about so um just before we get into it i want to tell like a quick little story about a workplace experience that is kind of a microcosm of the macro of the theme the trending theme of this whole thing of my life of of cert, of you know it translates to all people and shit too so um and then it's going to kind of like translate to youtube and this is the final thing that i got to really get off my chest so the story goes as such when i was in my early 20s i applied for a job in a restaurant this new trendy restaurant in the west end of toronto went in for the interview it was a bussing position with the uh you know ability to move into a serving role eventually and you know servers make good money and you know buses were making okay money but the servers money is where the money is really at 250 350 a night kind of thing 300 um i you know i wanted to get into that position so um i got hired on as a busser with some other people that were new and they basically like we promote from within the company um you're going to learn the job basically if there's any openings we move people up from this role to that role because then you're pretty much you pretty much know the job it's just a couple more little steps to be a server essentially so um you know put your best foot forward show up on time you know go the extra mile go the extra length be enthusiastic you know have the good energy uh be interested all that shit so that's what i did i i was on point like that i was always on time always had my uniform went to lineups went to like wine tasting learned about shit really tried to put my best foot forward and um of course as it would be as such uh the, the the people got hired on with me they moved into the role and then i got left behind and um you know so i i, I kind of recalibrated readjusted and i was like you know what i'll be optimistic maybe i can move into this role in the next eight months or nine months or a year so other people got hired on behind me as bussers uh oh another six months would go by and then again these people went past me and i stayed behind in the busing role and um you know i just it's you you feel like it's just this thing in life where it's like you want to get to this next level you want to break through you want this thing you're working hard for it you seemingly are putting your best foot forward and you you want success in it and then some for some reason or another it's like is the universe blocking me am i blocking myself what is it all what's going on here um and then you have to have some introspection which i had i'm like is it my attitude am i am i not bringing the right attitude am i am i too you know am, am i am i bad with authority like maybe i i'm too outspoken maybe i'm not malleable enough as an employee or something maybe you know and so and then there was people around me being like yeah that's kind of weird how you're not getting moved up i don't really understand so i don't know there's always politics with managers and stuff like that but 
anyways, regardless, it's just the, the idea of it is basically I ended up staying two years. I never made it into the server role and I just watched all these people go up past into this role that I wanted and I could never seem to get there. And then eventually uh, I would quit and then I went to another restaurant, got a serving job and then I made good server money and server money. And that was all good. Um, but it's just basically that thing of like, you know, watching people somehow just go past you and so you know that translates to youtube like i've talked about before and i know it's terrible to compare yourself and all these things and watch other people's journey and wonder why and i understand that that's not a good, good thing to do but at the same time you have to understand that when you're in a competition based space and just in life in general when you're right there and it's right in your world and you're like you know what i mean like if you're looking for promotion in your company say you're working in some company and you want to get up in the company you're trying to get promoted and stuff it's the same thing and you're going to compare yourself and you're you're, you're going to look at at why and you're going to have to introspect and and, and, and ultra-respect and like look at what's going on around you, what these people are bringing and stuff and how you can get there. So when I have harped on my frustrations and my being annoyed and like my bitterness and jadedness a little bit, sometimes relative to this platform and relative to, to my level of success or whatever, I want to just clarify this. And this is why I want to say is that I'm not like feeling that way out of entitlement i'm not feeling that way out of like i just want to be famous or i just want a bunch of money it's never been any of that for me what it's really been is this um essentially it's like i looked i went i tried the college thing i looked in the college t uh, like book to, to 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 pick out the program and i tried i went to that and then i tried this i've worked all these jobs and just seemingly up up until at least pretty much youtube or just before in that job i kind of felt like i kind of fit in there like that was kind of my world that world spoke to me it resonated with me it was you know it was in the restaurant world i should say like it was you know your personality based and you, you you talk to people you're around people food i'm learning about food there's music playing it's a good environment that's kind of my my jam so up until that point i just feel like all through since i've had to go to basically college and try to figure out where i fit in the world in in this life i just feel like every time i try to find where i fit i just don't feel like i fit anywhere like i, I just don't i don't know where i fit in society and i just i kind of feel like i'm floating and i'm lost soulish and i'm outcasted and you know it's harder for creatives and entrepreneurs and and people like this and it's like when you're born into a society that has been geared towards not really fitting you now with the internet and everything happening there are way more opportunities right so essentially when i get feeling like such a way about youtube it's basically because when i finally started to see a little like success on youtube and i saw the vision and i saw everything possible i saw everything happening like i had it in my mind and i was going to commit to it and go for it and really try to get there and like just get to a place where like it was comfortable success like your back wasn't against the wall all the time you weren't always like trying to feel like you're trying to like break through and and uh be, so i could because with youtube i finally for the first time in my life i was like this is it this is where i fit like this plays to my strengths as a person like i'm i can speak i have a decent personality i have views on topics i can do creative things i can cook i can make music i can edit i can da, da, da. like it was such a you know what i mean it just felt like this is where i fit and it still does feel like where i fit and i think it's taking me down the road of of getting into these areas it's just that i'll say this for the last bunch of years or for the whole time i've really been doing the channel it's like i feel like i've been bailing out this like sinking ship right and um when you feel like you've been bailing out, bailing out a sinking ship and then you like you're like oh my god is this thing actually going to sink you get to a point where it's like i really went all in here and then if this doesn't work out it's like i just feel like i'll be stuck at a point of like what do i do like what's left for me like where do i go from here i have no idea where to go from here and um i mean that's fine you just i would have to readjust and figure out life and things like that but i just that's why i get so like passionately frustrated or passionately kind of annoyed is because i feel like i've put my best foot forward i feel like i've put in the work i feel like i've put in the time i feel like i have put in the effort and i just want to break through to a point where it doesn't feel like i'm just shoveling and bailing out the boat all of the time because i finally got to a place in the world where i felt 
like I fit. And if it gets to the point where I don't succeed and where I feel like I fit, I feel like inadequate. I feel like I failed myself. I feel like also maybe the universe is telling me that, nah, this isn't for you. I just feel like lost, more lost than ever because it's like, oh shit, this is where I thought I was going. This is where I thought I was going to find those trampolines, that, that trajectory or that next thing on the path to get me to that place where like I could finally have just even a comfortable life in something that I fit in. So that's why I get so like passionately frustrated because it's like scary it's terrifying and then it also begs questions of like why can't this why won't this work out for me even though it's like because people say like you put out into the universe you get back right so i mean that makes me think that i just need to recalibrate and come back and and up the level and like and and reinvent and do new stuff and and get more more deeply into this thing and just like come with a whole new level of approach like a whole new level of commitment a whole new level of uh just quality and and dedication to that because i do believe that it's still redeemable i still believe there's redemption possible everything is still possible i've built a foundation i still have a foundation i think i'll always have the foundation i just got to re-up the bricks and make the bricks better and build the house so it's not victim shit i'm not trying to be a victim it's just i'm explaining why i feel the way i feel all the time in my frustrations because I feel like it's a thing that translates in life to everybody. Like how many of us are trying to figure out where we fit in the world, right? How many, how many of us just want to have a life where we don't dread going to, to our job. Like we, we aren't miserable and it's, it's dismal and you're just like, Oh, like every day you wake up and you're like this again. Like I just think it's t- to find where you fit and make a nice little living is just that for me is to be happy. And, you know, I just, that's kind of what I'm striving and aiming for. And I just, you know, to, for to, so many people are going down this route though, where they feel like they're bailing themselves out all the time just to get where they're going. And uh, I think it's constant struggle for everybody. And at the same time, I'm also going to acknowledge this, that it's a fucking privilege to be even able to live in a in a place in the world where you actually get to have the privilege to potentially self-actualize and live live a dream or live like you feel like you're living in your purpose because let's face it there's a ton of the world that never gets that choice there's a ton of the world that will always have to just do what they have to do in the hard in the hardest hardship scenario just to survive so i understand that that this is a privilege but because i have the privilege because i was born here in that privilege that's why i get so passionate about this too is like i feel like to not take advantage of that privilege and not really go for it because in this world that we live in with technology and in the western world and everything in the internet it is possible so as long as it's possible to do it i feel as if if you don't actually take the opportunity you're kind of spitting in the face of your privilege and um, to go for a dream to self-actualize to to, to become independent because it is entirely possible Um, you know what I mean so that's kind of just like where my head goes because I feel like you don't have you do not have to conform to the society what society has told you like how you're supposed to go about life like in terms of like the structured norm because you don't have to live like that anymore especially if you are born into this privilege of being able to live in a place where you can actually fucking chase your dreams self-actualize and become yourself independent of yourself you know through technology and the internet so um anyways it just you know we gotta put in the hard work of course um it's just at a certain point when you've laid your best foot forward like you you, you've done the ton of effort and i know every there's ton of you out there who feel this way in your own work in your own life that at at an eventual point you get a little burnt out you get a little frustrated and you're just like you you want to you want to indulge in that frustration you want to express and feel that frustration and i think that is healthy i think it's fine i think if you've been putting your best foot forward you've been showing up you've been been being consistent and you can't seem to get where you want to go i think it is completely and totally healthy to allow yourself those frustrations to feel it right let it process be with it but then you have to keep going right you have to keep stacking the brick you have to keep showing up you have to to look at things from different angles you have to reinvent whatever you got to do but 
you got to then continue because otherwise you just fall down flat. You don't get up. You're a victim. And then nothing ever, you're never going to self-actualize if you give up. Right. So I'm not of the mind state of giving up. I'm just basically trying to say here why it is the way that I have been with these feelings. So, um, you know what they say, fall down eight, get up nine or whatever. That's basically where I'm at with what I want to do here. And then this, in this next chapter of my, my channel, just to, to, to just bring it back up, to come back up or at least make the attempt. So, uh, but yeah, I just want to get that point across that I feel like it's okay to indulge in those frustrations. I think I'm entitled to mine after four years of really putting in what I think is at least a good 85% effort. Like, you know what I mean? I could have been better at times. I still can be better. Um, but you know, when you really think you're, you know, doing the work and it's just, it's not returning. It's not returning the same as what you're putting out. I understand that it gets, Oh, like the, your blood starts to boil a little bit, but, uh, yeah, I just want to kind of explain the deep seated reason of, of all this, all this and why I feel that way. And also to share with you, my friend, whoever else is also going through these similar frustrations in your own field in life, whatever you're trying to pursue and, and be successful at, um, that, yeah, like, I feel like you should be allowed to feel your frustrations, sit with it, give it time to process and then go on the attack again. Right. So, um, yeah, that was really like high energy, fast talking. I hope you'll be able to follow it, but I just love to like get these off in one go and not stall and do cuts and stutter and things like that. I like to just flow state it and that, uh, that one came out pretty good, pretty quick. So, um, I just wanted to clear that up, I guess. And, uh, yeah, I hope, hope it could have connect with you, resonate with you and make you feel like a little more, I don't know, free and you're f allowing your frustrations and a little more understood and, and feel that, you know, there's so many people that go through it. Right. I think most people in the world are in a constant state of trying to find where they fit, trying to, trying to manifest and achieve and uh, get to a next level in the thing that they do. And a lot of times there's a lot of hindrances, blockades, frustrations. Is it the universe? Like who is it me? I, the, you know, that whole thing. So, uh, anyways, I'll wrap that one up here uh, until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, stay true.